Hello everyone, my name is Timo Tautnan and I'm the owner of TableauFence.com. This is a recording of a demo about how to embed Tableau responsively. Before I jump right into the demo, I want you to be aware of the fact that there are already some other blog posts. One of them called Kickstart Your JavaScript API Skills. And there you can find a couple of different demo examples. They started to be six, and if you now jump into them, you can see that there are now nine different ones available, and I will continue to add more. And today, we're going to focus on the responsive embedding part. So without reading you through the content, which I put in here, I and mainly want to show you the demo of that particular page. So if I jump into the demo, you can always see a description of how you actually want to use it and try it out. So this first example is showing you a fixed sized dashboard. So if you're making this page smaller, then things won't change from a dashboard perspective unless you reached a size of less than 600 pixels and you will then see that Tableau is loading the mobile layout. Okay, so how does that look on an actual phone? So therefore I jump into my phone, you see this is the very same page we've been accessing before and if i jump into the demo we jump into that very first fixed size dashboard well of course here on my mobile phone it's it's directly loading that that viz uh, for a mobile screen okay so that is the very first and most basic example right so let's jump right into the next one which is using an auto size dashboard so how does that look like? Well, first and foremost, it is using the full space available on that screen. So this is now nine, uh, 1920 pixels in terms of width, and the height is restricted uh, to, uh, I think, 800 or 900. So again, if you change it to show like a mobile screen size so if it's below 500 or 600 pixels then it's loading that mobile screen well but if I enlarge it it will perfectly fit into like whatever space I make it available right so if I enlarge enlarge it it will recheck how much space it has available and just reload it well from a mobile perspective, you will not see that anything changes because I'm opening up my smartphone and it will just load that particular viz. Uh, maybe one small hint, if you're looking at the icon, um, you will always see it will like go turn into red if it hit the threshold I defined for that particular layout. So I think over here I chose like a smaller one. So now a larger one, so in terms of width. So if it has got less than 900 pixels, it will already load the mobile layout. Just to show you that you don't need to actually choose the like 500 pixel mark, which I think is, is like how Tableau Server is deciding which layout to choose from. Um, for more details about that, you can just go ahead to the very first example because here in that particular link, you will see these are the pixel widths where Tableau decides what layout to choose from when you are navigating through Tableau server natively. Okay, but let's go back into the next example, which is TabScale. So TabScale is a third party library, which John Hegele, a uh, well-known and great colleague of mine in the US just came up with. And you can get the full code and some other examples by just clicking on that link. And the way this one is working is 
um, if I now change the screen size to whatever, it will just auto scale the overall viz to what's available. So it will not ask Tableau Server to re-render the viz, but it will just use the normal zoom in, zoom out functionality you know from uh, your browser. And it will, yeah, again, just scale it up or down depending on what you have. Uh, that's particular valuable if you have a lot of text, which normally uh, maybe is too small for its space and then you see this the stuff you know from like all these hashtags which you know from excel as well so another example which you can see i've been creating is also using tab scale which is this dashboard over here which i just briefly want to jump into because i've been at a customer a while ago where the customer was using a lot of these like donut charts with, with, with text in it. And well, they're really, really useful. And I don't want to talk about how you actually create them. But uh, if you have something like that, and you have, for example, small iPads, large iPads, desktop, and also full screen like monitors with, with more than uh, full HD uh, resolution, then it can be really helpful to have the very same approach, right? To use tab scale to automatically change the size of it uh, according to what's available. Okay, so that was the top scale example. Um, the only thing what I extended to, to my example is um, that again, if you're opening that up on a mobile phone, so let's quickly do that, that it will also choose the mobile version of that very same viz, which in John Hegel's example, this is not the case, but this is the only the only uh, extension or the only add-on uh, to like it's his his default um, JavaScript library. Okay, last but not least, there's something which I call fixed size plus preview image. So if you want, to embed something in a way that it is, it looks really performant to your end users, especially if you, for example, have external end users. You might want to show the preview image of the very same this prior to load the interactive version of it. And that can be done for all the examples, by the way. I just wanted to, to make it like a separate one because if you don't know the exact screen size, uh, pictures might look different, right? And here I chose the very first example to put a preview uh, image underneath it because then I know exactly where which pixel will become rendered. So if I reload that page again, you will see that Tableau immediately will show up. Well, I just have been using Tableau's REST API to get that picture and now uh, it's it's available dynamically. What I've done in my particular example, I'm showing the normal loading screen of Tableau so that you are aware of what's happening. But of course, I always advise my customers to put something uh, on top of it, like a loading bar or whatever it is, like saying, hey, the viz is not loaded yet. So uh, this is just a preview image until it becomes like fully fully available in an interactive way. So let's have a look at that particular example as well on my mobile device. So again, I'm showing like a preview image prior to being loaded interactively, but that was really fast. So uh, it just feels like a native application. Maybe a couple of things in terms of features, what's available for that particular dashboard example. So first of all, you can filter down things. So if you do that, you will see that there are nice animations like activated for that particular dashboard. On top of that, you can filter on different sales stages. And again, you will see how the Viz is reacting to all of my clicks, which looks quite nicely and demos really well. So make sure that you're showing that to your end users. And uh, some other things, if I'm clicking on a particular like 
time, point in time, I can see what are the top opportunities in that particular uh, at that particular time as like a viz in tooltip so people are always loving that one as well and then yeah some some other small things which you might want to highlight just in terms of this could be your normal sales dashboard okay uh with that said that's all of the stuff i want to cover for today so if i go back to the home screen um Make sure that you're embedding stuff in a responsive way. I hope you liked what you've been seeing. So please feel free to go back on tableaufense.com and leave some comments on that blog post. Thank you very much for your attention.